Hello guys, welcome back to Sim UK for episode 3. This is year 2.5. We're about halfway through the summer. Uh, really, ideally... Wow, his morale's really low. We've got some dogs now. And uh, you can slaughter the dog, which we would have to do if we ran out of food and water. You can see he's just gone into his camp, taking his kit off because he's too hot. So he's just walking around in his pants right now. Which is absolutely fine. I, d <clears throat> I don't know. I feel like I'm maybe overworking everybody. Uh, there is a way of seeing this. Activities? Nope. Is it this one? Tasks. Yeah, see, the workload is 333%. That is way too much, clearly. So, let's... I'm right clicking to cancel the task. Is it because we've got so many? Right, I think what we're going to do is we're going to cancel that completely. And uh, that's why nothing's being done, by the way. It's because I've got everybody overworked. So, <clears throat> if I can find... There it is. I see it between the trees there. Let's bring this right down then. Let's say 10. Okay, just one person, bring me 10 flint. That's all I'm asking for there, okay? 10 flint, that is all we need from you. Over here, again, with the sticks, we'll say 10, maximum of one person, done. This one, stones, we'll say one person, just 10 stones, because obviously, we're asking too much of our nine people, and they're all exhausted. The morale is low. Yeah, that looks pretty good. That's pretty good. Okay, so all of that seems pretty fine. Uh, this one, I'm going to say, okay, two people. And... Um, went the wrong way, but let's say ten of each. Okay, we don't need any more than that. Right, let's see how that affects things. So now if we look at tasks, still 300%. How is it so high? So you're currently crafting dry skin. You're crafting cured meat, cured meat, dry skin, and a hearth. But we've got nine people. And that is not nine people's worth of work. Three people are making a half. Which half is that then? Is it this one over here? Oh, it is. Oh, these guys are so miserable. Look at this. I have been working them far too hard. So basically, I've given them a massive long list of things to do and they're absolutely exhausted so what i what i need to do now is not ask them to do anything just s maybe speed up time and just let them tick over with what they're doing we've got a guy up here praying that should increase his morale a bit yeah his morale's going up not much to be fair and you're idle. Why are you idle? Go over there and hunt something. Do something, man. So you're collecting berries. I didn't even ask you to collect berries. I think it's quite cool that I've got this up here. I do like that they come up to the top of the mountain, do a bit of praying, and, and then go back to their miserable lives. <laughs> I do like that. I think that's the way it should be. All right, we have the ability to make leather. Let's just go here and check. Yeah, so leather's at 150%. We are going to have to build... I just said I wasn't going to do this, didn't I? We are going to have to build a tanner. So let's get on and build a tanner. Just one. And... Um, 
Yeah. As long as we have some leather for next year, because we're already in fall now. Initially, I meant to have leather ready for this year, but that has not happened. Is there anything else I can get? No, not really. No, no. Still can't do this. We need to get 15 uh, experience points so that we can uh, unlock the next era and get a whole bunch of stuff done. But I think this is going to be our key area here. This is going to change everything. Being able to hunt in such a good area is going to make a huge difference. And just being able to walk over here and have a break, you know, lie down and have a sleep, I think that in itself is going to be quite an achievement. Because nobody can actually hunt yet, because we're so... You know, I've got them working on so much stuff. It has come down a lot, 189% now. We get that down to a below 100%, I think we'll be there. It's a shame they haven't built that first. If that was a priority, you wouldn't have to go back, would you? You could just chill over here. What might have been smarter is if I put down a wood store, chop down some wood, I could have done it that way, couldn't I? I mean, there's a million sticks here. What about... What about if I do put down a storage? Is there any space left up on this little ledge? Okay, so I've, fit, I've completely filled that ledge up. Or have I? Is that saying it can go there or it can't go there? Ah, so when it's red, it's a no. But when it's green, it's a yes. So I can. I can just pop a little... No, you scumbag. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So how do I know when I can place it? Will you, will you tell me? Ah, because the little red thing in the in the middle disappears. Okay, so we can pop it here, right in between all these sticks, and we can say, pick up the sticks. There's millions of them right here. Look, you don't have to go far for it. And once you've done it, you'll be able to build all this and you won't have to keep going back to get more sticks. Doesn't that make more sense, everybody? I think it does. I'm trying to help you. That's what I'm doing. I'm trying to help you all. So the second storage tent is nearly there, which is good because that one's nearly full. I do feel like we're going to need a storage tent over there as well. But uh, that's not going to be our priority right now. So the rock pile. That holds everything. That holds everything. We've got... We have got quite a few sticks and stuff. We've also got some pretty run-down tents. So they're going to have to be repaired. And that one they haven't worked on. But that's because... As we've discovered, I am super overloading them. 200% at the moment. Right, no more work. Let's just speed it up. Let them get used to this excessive workload. I'm hoping this is built before Christmas. Because we're going to be in serious dire straits if it isn't. I prioritise this. Why have you built this? I do feel that this... See, look. I do feel like this prioritisation thing doesn't work. <laughs> How many sticks have I set this to? Ten. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, ten stone gets us one knowledge. Uh, population reached ten. That's a knowledge increase of three. That's cool. Two new humans have joined the settlement. That's important. And we've lost some berries. So we're not doing very well with maintaining our berry uh, collection, <laughs> if you will. But this is nearly up and running. This is almost there, isn't it? 
Once we got a couple of guys over here hunting permanently. And we've just built a tanner. Fantastic. And the traders arrived. And we've made 10 by face. Okay, cool. Hello, trader. Let's slow things down a second. Hello, trader. What do you have? You have some pulses. We'll take six of your pulses, definitely. Average commission. We'll take the bread. Uh, leather. We'll take the leather. Spirituality is ridiculously overpriced. We'll take the logs as well. Okay, what do we owe you? 45. Oh, we are seriously short on food. Um, oh, we must have something that's worth something. I don't want to sell the clothes because I know what's going to happen. We'll get to winter and we won't have enough. So we've only got two axes and one bone harpoon. So the wooden harpoon can go because it's not that important. We've got loads of wooden spears. Perfect. That's all of our old stock gone. We've got loads of food. We've got pulses. We've got new food. We've got logs. Yes, I think that was a wise trade. I think I did a good job there. We may need an additional wood storage location. I'm not sure. This still hasn't been built. I'd really like that to happen. And I know why it hasn't happened. It's because we're not... Oh, hang on. Whoa, someone's seriously not well. Where are you going? Seriously miserable. I don't think suicide's part of this game, but I could be wrong, you know really rather like this guy to be a lot happier. Yeah, you go to the skull, mate. You go cheer up, me old China. And then if someone could just come and fix this tent. I know what the problem is, is we don't have any animal skins. And uh, winter has just started, so that is a really seriously bad situation. I have been working everybody far too hard this year been asking too much and pushing too hard right we need animal skins come with me old woman we are gonna go huntering where are these two copping off to No tool available to perform the hunt. Oh, seriously? You've got a spear. So you go hunt. Where are these guys going? What are you doing? You're moving. You're moving. Where are you moving to? Have they left? They've left us. I've never seen that before. Yeah, these guys are not under my control. Oh, he's a trader. They're both traders. Oh, I didn't realise that. Okay, well that explains where they're going. Do you have a spear? Do you have a spear? You've got an axe. Can't you all? Just going to leave it to this one guy then. Alright, good luck, buddy. Good shot. Yeah, I didn't think you were going to kill it in one go. So now we've got a long run and a hunt on. But you seem relatively happy in comparison to all of your friends, who are really not very happy at all. Fingers crossed you'll be okay. Wow, look at this. This is where all the animals are. Are they sheep? No, they're baby bison. Baby, baby, bison. He's injured. Injured, but still running. And this guy is exhausted. He's got no stamina left. This was a huge ask of this one man to take down this big, big... Megalosaurus. Megalosaurus. And that is big. Come on, you nearly got him. One more and he's yours. Mm. 
Yeah! Awesome. And you've got a bi face. Excellent. And that's the first one we've got. Look at this. We've got 10 knowledge. We are so agonizingly close to pottery right now. We need to get this. I need to hold off. I'm so tempted to get something, but I'm not going to. What are you doing? You're just going to leave it. This cave lion is starving. He's going to come over here and steal our kill. Oh, you have so let me down, Karate. I know you've got a million miles to walk home, and that really sucks. But we desperately needed that. All right, do you know what? Everybody, get up. Everybody, get up and come over here. Karate did all the hard work. She chased it down. She killed it. You go and help her bring it back. It doesn't really help that we have so many dogs now. Because that is um, seriously eating into our food source resources. And that storage tent is looking a bit spare. Ooh, it's a tricky, tricky time. It's been a bit of an uneventful year, this one, and winter is nearly upon us. Do we have enough? We have 14 skins outfit, 4 leather, but at least everybody's got some warm clothes to wear in the winter. That's important. I think we'll put a little tent up here, right in between all of these mines. Maybe one there, actually. We'll drop them about here, there and everywhere so that people can chillax and get some rest in between hunts, etc. Just Ebenezer. Ebenezer Scrooge is the only person coming all the way out here to get our kill. Oh, look at that. The lion has taken the, uh, the skin and most of the meat. So that has now been an absolute disaster. He's got a full tummy though, or she, I should say. So we got absolutely stitched up there, really, didn't we? And now it's snowing. Do you know what? Forget it. Forget it, forget it, forget it. It's pointless. Totally flipping pointless, and you haven't built the tent. I prioritised the tent over all the rest of this stuff, and yet the tent is not built. <laughs> Everything else is there, just no tent. Unbelievable. Well, with the exception of severe depression, I think we're going to make it through the winter. Oh, I say that. We are very, very short on food. We may have to kill one of the dogs. That is unfortunately the situation we seem to find ourselves in. Because uh, there's no fruit to harvest in the winter. I'm worried that these guys are going to freeze to death before they get back. If that cave lion comes anywhere near us. Anywhere near the camp. That's a dog. Don't hunt the dog. It's been a tricky year this year. Year two has not gone well. I've had some brilliant ideas, but they've been poorly thought out and implemented even more poorly and <laughs> rather like my English in that previous sentence where are you going you're going to the megaloceros forget it forget it karate forget it it's 
So Gorzor's absolutely exhausted. I haven't really given them any extra tasks, but still here, here we are, 127%. Uh, the advice is the ratio between the number of tasks and the number of people in your settlement. Try to keep it below 150. So 150% then is the target for that. Well, that's fine. I think we can achieve that now that we know, now that we've learnt that lesson. But we do need to get some hunts. We need to get a kill. We need a boar or something to just meander into our into our camp here basically that's that would help solve a lot of the problems I don't think that's going to happen sadly next year will be fine because next year we will have the additional storage tent and we will have this tent this is the one that's really kicked me in the ass we will have this one built and therefore we will be able to hunt but uh, yeah it hasn't gone well has it I really let everybody down this year by not hunting by not prioritizing hunting we've wasted an entire year we haven't really grown at all nothing has happened that I started building at the end of last Christmas so it's taken a whole year and it's not even built not ideal not ideal Learned some important lessons this year, I can tell you that much. Got loads of logs, look, just laying around, perishing. Is that because we have nowhere to put them? No, we've got, look, there's space for wood. Just everybody's too busy to go and pick it up and put it there, I guess. At least everybody's warm. <laughs> We are seriously lacking in food. Okay, right. I think we're just going to speed through. Oh! <laughs> Not the children. Come on, come on, come on, come on. That's it, nice. Where are you going, you dozy pillock? You're supposed to cut him off. Oh, God. Attack. The boar has not escaped. The boar is right here. Ah, oh, thank goodness for that. Well, that's a Christmas Day little... Miracle, isn't it? Everyone's going to be a lot happier once they've got some boar inside them, I tell you. A nice boar burger and everyone's mood will soon perk up. Ten leather outfits. Ten. Oh, I know, I know what I've done wrong here. I bet that this thing is on permanent, isn't it? It is. You silly bugger. Right. No more leather outfits. Okay, one more one more leather outfit and that's it. That's where all of our skins have gone. Okay, do you know what? Le leather outfits, actually, I'm going to set to 100%. And that's it. Once, once we've got 100%, we don't need any more. Nice. Well done, everybody. Good lad. Come on, you can run. You're young, you're full of energy. Pick up the meat. You want a boar burger? You want a McBoar? Pick up the meat and take it back to the camp. Thanking you. Ah, the kids are great. To be fair, they can only pick up one thing at a time, but they always seem pretty happy and they have boundless energy. There we go. That's that entire boar brought back for the peeps. That was such an important kill, that one. Honestly, really important. That's a better... That's a better visual. That's much better. 
Yes. Wow. So that's what we were lacking this year was the kill. I didn't prioritize enough killing. Hunting, I should say, not killing. And everybody's mood has improved. Have you noticed? We don't have any red moods at all now. Everyone's feeling a lot happier now. And we've survived the winter. Milestone unlocked. Double knowledge. Oh, we are one point away from going into the Mesolithic era. But we're going to have to save that for the next episode, guys. Thank you so much for watching. It was an interesting one. Uh, I've learnt a lot. I, I tell you that much. But uh, yes, this year is going to be the best year so far. This time next year, we'll be millionaires. Thanks for watching. Take care of yourselves. Till next time. Goodbye for now. Thank <laughs> you.